Hello. Uh, how's it going? Um, I'm talking about the villain is done trying today. Um, if you don't watch the entire video, you're probably going to stub your toe really, really bad. So I'd watch the whole video. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos that I've done so far, which is disappointing, um, I'm going to give you a rating off the bat, then I'm going to go into why I gave you that rating. I'm not really going to go into any you know, specifics in terms of the series, I'm just going to talk about some general things. Um, I'm just going to give you why you know I gave you that rating, and why I think you should or should not read said story. Um, for this one, I, I think I'm going to give it an 8. Pretty good. I, I enjoyed it, for the most part. Um, not like super, not like a ton of like big issues, I would say, at the very least. Um, it is an isekai. <laughs> because, you know, I'm the isekai guy and every single thing I ever talk about is an isekai or isekai Jason or something. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just how it is. Uh, it's this girl, she's reincarnated as the villainess, obviously. <laughs> um, and she just kind of, you know, she... If I had to pin down, like, what the general idea of the series is, it's, well... She's the villain, right? She gets isekai'd as this villain. And the villain, you know, has a lot of impact throughout the world on different characters, right? Like, I don't know, there's like a, a male lead, or, um, I don't know, a female lead, or a uh, second male lead. <laughs> Whatever, right? And uh, she's trying to fix, you know, her relationship with these characters by being better, right? Doing things differently, trying to do what she can to be, you know, in their good graces and just be a normal person. Uh, but each one kind of cuts off ties to her and doesn't really try to, you know, understand her, doesn't really try to make anything better, and she just kind of keeps, you know, going back right to square one, where everyone thinks she's like a terrible person all the time. And eventually, you know, she herself is just like, I'm done. What's the point? You know, there, there's no reason in me bothering anymore. Um, and that's when she makes contact with another character who is loosely connected to the story, but doesn't actually show up, so she doesn't have much knowledge of him. Um, and he, you know, joins her little situation. And the basic idea is he can make different magical items and she's trying to get said magical items to relieve her boredom from just staying home. Like, she doesn't want to leave anymore. She doesn't want to go anywhere, she doesn't want to do anything. Um, she just... she's done, you know? Like, she, she's like, I, I don't care anymore. Um, and the basic... I don't know, the, the, the major plot point of the series is this character and the villain's relationship with each other and kind of like that slow going build of like oh i you know i actually have some feelings toward you and things like that um i'd say it's pretty entertaining overall i i, I really i really like their relationship and connection um he initially just wants to you know get her money <laughs> basically just like you know, she's just an access, like, she just gives him, at, like, different assets and different things like that that he needs to make do. Um, I can't, I don't, I feel like going into, like, he is would be a little bit spoilery, but he is, he has a prominent role, and it, it makes it very clear as to why he was not a part of the original story. Um, he also quickly forms, like, a pretty good bond with her. So it makes it like a fun, you know, seeing things change. She also kind of gets an inkling as to what, you know, his deal is and ends up kind of, you know, giving him something in return for all the help that she's given him. That kind of saves the skin. So it's kind of like I, I like seeing the two characters get an idea of what each other's about and kind of understanding each other and then you know, trying to do things that will help the other person. That's pretty cool. Um, as far as like, see, these characters are all kind of mediocre. 
none of them are really stand out or special and I think that's kind of problematic and it hinders the story. Um, really the only reason I think the story is nice is because the bond between, you know, the male and female leads of this story. Um, everything outside of that's kind of... Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's getting by, right? I, I wouldn't say it's anything super, you know, fancy outside of their connection. But I think their bond is where it really shines. Like, it's a definitely a different type of romance than you see in a lot of these other stories. Um, you know, you slowly see them falling for each other. She's kind of, you know, like, oh man, he's great. And then he's like, oh, you know, I kind of love her. But I've never experienced this before. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, this is like a sweet little bond between these two. Um... And overall, I, I just enjoy, you know, their connection the most. Uh, as far as, like, side points and things like that, um, there's other characters that will show up periodically and kind of try to throw, like, a wrench into the, you know, main character's plans. Like, you know, they'll do something terrible here or something terrible there. And I think that's fine. But I think what you're really trying to get out of this is that relationship. It's that that's like the main fun, new, uh, fresh aspect where, you know, she, you know, is done. She's she's done with society. She wants to stay at home and do nothing. And he's kind of, I don't want to get into, again. I don't want to get into any spoilers, but he's kind of cast out of society. You know, off on his own, and he can't really, you know. He, he has no choice in doing what she's doing, which is self-isolating. So he, you know, at first kind of resents that. He's like, well, I mean, I can't even choose, but you can choose to just sit in your room all day and do this. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, which I think is kind of a fun little back and forth. Um, also, there's some, like, very realistic kind of relationships, I feel. Like, um... There's a point where a character shows up and he's like trying to like court her because he's just so cool and everything and everyone else you know loves him and everything so he assumes that she would as well and, but she just straight up chops that through line off and I kind of give it a little bit of credit because this guy literally just backs off I mean maybe later on down the line he'll come back but he straight up is just like, oh yeah, no, okay, no, I get it. <laughs> I'll be more professional now. I'm really sorry. That was my bad. It, it, it was. It's a very like unique, relate like like uh, storytelling where I'm like that. That feels pretty real. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I I think one of the things I like about the series is probably that, you know, the main character, the you know other lead and some of the minor supporting characters not like this main supporting characters but the minor supporting characters are pretty interesting um i think there's some things that i would question about the series like this guy makes things for her and she you know just so happens to come up with all these ideas but he doesn't really seem to question that very much um also i think he falls for her really it feels pretty quick like, I can kind of understand where she's coming from because she's like really down you know beaten broken but he's kind of like he's been messed up for years and I feel like right now wouldn't be like his low point <laughs> I don't know I guess and maybe in some ways it is some ways it's not I, I don't know and I guess I can understand like you know the items that she gave him kind of helped him so maybe that's the biggest catalyst uh, but whatever I mean that's who cares um I think those are like some of the general like elements I guess that I focused on when I was reading this so I guess just to end it off I'll do the old uh, SAE. Now what is the SAE? Well it's story art enjoyment. Story wise I mean their story is really good like I think it could go up to an 8. The side stories I think are like a 7 like they're kind of mid so it varies depending on how you look at it. Um, art wise, once again, probably between a seven and an eight, like it's, you know, kind of back and forth. Like, I think it's pretty solid for the most part, but then like some other characters are kind of boring in design. So yeah. as far as enjoyment goes, I, probably an eight. Like I, I liked it. I thought it was really entertaining. Um, 
personally, I think it's one of those kinds of stories that I just like. Uh, and I think if you are similar to me and, you know, you watched a lot of my other videos and agree with me on a lot of my points, then, yeah, then you'd probably like this, too. I enjoyed it. Um, so I guess the general rating would probably be between a 7 and an 8, depending on how you feel. Um, either way, pretty good. I think it's worth a read if you have some time. Uh, and I enjoyed it, yeah, for the most part. Like, it was, it was pretty good. Um... I, I think her design is relatively interesting. His design is relatively interesting. I think it makes a pretty fun series. Um, yeah. If you have any other stories that you want me to read down below, uh, read, uh, you can comment down below. I appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe. Um, also, I mean, hey, you know, recommend some stories. And, and don't even worry about if I've read it or not. I'll read it again. I don't really care. And uh, yeah, I'll see you.